For the past couple hours, I've just been working on the archive for my fibers and dyeing binder, redoing some things, cleaning it up, making it neater. I absolutely suck at breaking the box cutter blades. I think I've wasted three just because when I tried, I would break off two. <laughs> my sister would not be happy with me. Look at how much board I have. I got the large size so that I don't have to keep running to the store. on archive stuff. So I wanted to chit chat this morning, explain some things that would kind of give people more of an idea of how school is going because I have a lot of requests to see school and work. The process I filmed throughout I thought was interesting because it shows you how a pattern, a repetitive one, can derive from an object and not make it very, very generalized. What I did first was go around the city and make some sketches from observations into my moleskin. And I came upon a little leaf on the sidewalk. Funny. It was really cute, but it was just like tossed on the ground. This was on my Instagram actually. So I picked it up and used that. I first developed many many motifs, did some contour drawings, and then I eventually funneled that into final motifs. The assignment had to entail creating a paper model. This model was supposed to guide us to create a line drawing because if the model is 3D, when you cast a light onto the model, it would make shadows that were never there and the shadows would make your design more complicated and create more lines and depth. This is setting up the model, deciding like how the light would hit it to make it most interesting, and then eventually derived from that is this photo. This photo was turned into a line drawing. Then I did a value drawing of that line drawing to kind of pinpoint the different values that would help in the final pattern. Then this final is to be painted in color, but you can refer to the value drawing instead of the original photo as to like which areas are just a little darker because the nuance is important. I'm super disappointed by the final, which is why I never really talked about it in the moment. I barely had time to work on it. It was due in a week, so I had to spend only two hours on each of them. This one I hate, and then this one is okay, but I, w I would change this because it's distracting and also if you repeat it, you can tell very, very easily from this one blue motif that the whole thing is a repetitive pattern instead of a more natural repeating pattern. Another notable one recently is the stripe project where we had to derive stripe patterns from a landscape photo and I didn't get to really vlog this because I just sat my ass down and tried to get to it. We had to do four paintings in a week. And that's on top of the other work, as I already said. The objective is to create a 12 inch width painting that's indefinitely long. So mine turned out some to be 11 inches, some turned out to be 12. Other people's, some were like much taller or much shorter. But these to go together, you can see the crit wall. This is kind of what I look like at the time. And these paintings, seemingly easy. I don't know why I made it so hard on myself, so perfectionist. I just had to do a shit ton of stripes. Then the following week, the homework was to take two of our favorites out of the four paintings and mimic the exact stripe pattern but change the colors while keeping true to the value, which means the lights and darks in a pattern would stay constant. I tried my best when it came to keeping the ratios and the values. And as you saw, these here. Yeah. Even though we have a week to work on it, I really only have that one day because the other days are filled with studios, you know, five hour days, and then more homework. The other things I haven't shared, like my canvas paintings, I just don't like it. I think that's bottom line. And they're all here under my bed, these giant rolls of canvases. I hope that this kind of cleared some things up, gave you an insight on how my school is going right now. Today I have a lot of work to make up for. I have to finish majority of the 4x6 painting that I stretched yesterday because I'm going to New York this Friday 
and Saturday to work on a project with Greyhound and I know that I've been doing a lot of sponsorships but honestly, unfortunately, it's all been coming out in October because of delays. It was supposed to happen in August and September and October. I was trying to put them so that it would be really spaced out and they all kind of had some delay problem. It pushed it all into the span of three weeks in a row which is also, it makes me crazy because I have to think about planning those. From here on, I am going to try to vlog more of my work and it's because I'm thinking hopefully first that's gonna make my work more fun and also it's gonna push me to enjoy it more and create something I enjoy. It's just a matter of time, you know. October has been especially busy. There's just been so much projects that got pushed back to this. I am just trying my best and I don't I don't really know what else to say, I guess. Thank you so much for everything. This isn't the end of the video, but I just wanted to say that before I go to class this morning, okay? We're walking back to the hotel now. The Harry Styles concert just ended. We really, really enjoyed the concert. I'm very grateful that we get to do fun things like this. Uh, we have outings and we got to see Harry in concert. It was his first tour and our first concert. So, And we did um, it together, so that's nice. I'm also very grateful that I get to go with my sister, that we get to spend time together. So that's something I cherish more. The fact that I get to spend quality time with those close to me and tomorrow as well. dinner out today even though 
I'm not feeling too well. My appetite's still good. I just have a sniffly nose and I'm very, very tired. But now I'm just catching up on some of my reading for textiles. And I have little Fitz here next to me. And he's just napping away. <sighs> my teacher sent me home. So at least I get to have some rest. But I need to do more reading. I'm going to try to get some rest as well because it's important. But everything is important. I feel so tired. It's really hard to do any work. So I'm not a tea or coffee drinker. But I'm going to attempt this pure black tea. Does black tea have caffeine? I, I really don't know <laughs> anything about drinks. If anybody has any great ideas, this tea is pretty bitter, but it's doable. If anyone has great suggestions for beginner teas, please suggest them. I'm not into fruit though, so that's one thing. I've been so much better at adjusting to consume bitter foods. Like dark chocolate, I can have 70% cacao. I'm just packing up some things for my studio today and I spent half an hour getting ready while watching Rhiannon's vlogs just because most of the time throughout the week I don't wear any makeup and I just wear very comfy things to class like hoodies and culottes but I found that especially on days where I'm kind of sleepy or tired if I stay in those comfy clothes and basically make no effort then my mindset would just be in a very unproductive, I don't want to do crap and I just want to sleep kind of mood. I get ready and now I just feel a lot better mentally. I'm kind of ready to go into this five hour class. Happy weekend. I spent the morning doing a lot of reading and I think after a couple hours, I just can't focus on any work. So what I'm gonna do is get ready again, just like yesterday. I'm trying out the Josie Moran Embrace It Honey. Embrace honey. They sent me this last year, but I haven't used it too much. All right, long enough of a break. It's been an hour. Really need to get back into reading. It's just, I feel such cabin fever today. I eat tons because I get heartburn when I'm anxious. So this really helps me or else I go and just stress eat. I forgot that I ordered something from Topshop. So that's that. And then the other is a birthday gift from my friend Amanda. I did not know it would come in a big box, so let's see what it is. Oh my gosh, another mug! It's perfect! She got me my Supernatural mug last year, and we are in desperate need of big cups. We only have two. Each of them were gifted to me, so thank you so much. I'm so happy and excited to use this because it lights up like stars or constellations when it's heated. So now that I'm trying to drink tea more, I can use that and also hot cocoa. Oh, oh, lunch bag. That's so cute. I mentioned that on Mondays I have to eat lunch in class or I have a very short lunch break because it's so busy. Yellow. I'm so confused right now. <gasps> what? <laughs> it's a bread holder. <laughs> this is crazy. Thank you so much. I love all of these. They're so thoughtful and I would never see them coming. They're so cute. I want to say thank you so much again. I love you. Topshop had a sale, so I picked up this satin dress. I know it's getting cold, but hopefully it looks good for when it's spring again next year. Mondays are my busiest days. Look like crap. Okay, Annabelle, come on out. Oh. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Annabelle. Happy birthday to you. Yay! <laughs> I'll probably cool faster.